Well, hello everyone, Billy in here. Happy Throwback Thursday, and the rotation leads us to a Hero Factory review, and this one is on uh, on both Drill Machine and Surgeon Rocket Combat Machine of Free Attack Wave 2 from 2014. Also my second to last Hero Factory classic review, of course, but yeah. So let's start off with just the bag of bulk drill machine, of course. Which, as you see, uh, the two logos, uh, Invasion from Below logo, and nice artwork there, and oh, whoops. picture of the set in action uh, that is in this cave, of course, and also recommended ages 714, set number 44025, 113 pieces, and also name of which and also the two accessories included with it and also nice artwork on the bottom on like just as matching the top part of course and on the back of which is just showing all the features of the set and actual size of the mini included and how to work all the features and yeah and now onto just the box of this one which the only which uh, Queen Beast also comes in, but a little larger, of course. But yeah, see, kind of the same stuff, but in box form with the nice artwork, of course. But also top bar, which part is actual size of Raka, of course. And on the back side, have all the showing all the features of which and. On, and again, actual size, but it's not saying actual size for both meaning figs included, but yeah. And that's it with that. And now, on to the booklets, or instruction manuals, on the front of each instruction manual. Same picture as on the front of the boxes and everything. Box and bags, of course. A little comic strip, of course. On the back, how to win on the online survey. And then out of both combiner models that there are. And then how to swap bits or swap top halves onto Surgeon Rocket Combat Machine and the pieces included. And the last steps. For this one, a lot larger. out of all the sets together. And also a checklist of all the mini pigs, jumpers, and cocoons of each set, and a little more nice artwork to there, and all the pieces. Last steps. First off is with the mini figs. That all three of which, of course, all three of which, uh, which are not so exclusive. Well, because like. Bulk of which second appearance in sets, which also comes with uh, uh, Crystal Beast versus Bulk, of course, and then Surge in this set second appearance, also alongside Tunnel Beast versus Surge and Raka, which his third appearance since it came with Rock Crawler and also Raka Stealth Machine in the first wave, of course, but and only different, and of course no no need to say much, but only variation with Bulk is doesn't have the Jet booster add ons like he did in uh, Crystal Beast versus Bulk, and each of which do have the stud shooters, of course. But yeah, and so now on to the jump. Which, which, as you can see, 
your last this one in with the blue top part which is which comes with both drill machine and the bottom half blue exclusive to that of course and these ones in with the black tops same as from uh, wave one of course and and also both come with uh, sword and rocket combat machine of course but yeah and of course just like in and of course as always you can press on the button and see them fling off like so And also you get these two cocoon pieces, or cocoon bits, which are also seen in plenty of other sets, but like this red one, the most common, and the blue one, well, by itself, which does also, which is, comes with both drill machines, also queen piece, to, of course, but yeah. And also did mention how, this, how they work like in previous reviews, but yeah. And so now on to the sets. First off is uh, which is bulk drill machine. Uh, which quite heavy. Uh, which, uh, which living up to the name of which doesn't have much bulk to it. Well although that uh, which would probably boost the piece count and price up a bit, but at least does have some bit of bulk on the front parts of which but Maybe because since it's a vehicle, it doesn't need to have much bulk, but yeah. <coughs> like the back legs of which, which do have the size 4 armor pieces, and this with that, and size 3 ones in orange, of course, but although, if I were to guess why Nex and Stringer weren't here, because the orange might throw them off for that, of course, but whatever. But as for the front uh, legs, which, as you can see, does have that again, but also those add-on pieces, just like, which have been around since Breakout, of course. And also you get uh, two, or on this one, get completely two of these size 5 armor bits, which do have the Hero Factory symbol on and whatnot. And which I... And correct me if I'm wrong, I do think this, which one of the only times where it came in, uh, where two of it came in one set, but actually, I just remembered that uh, Evo XL machine in the first wave also did, but good to see that on a smallish, cheaper set, but yeah. As for this front cockpit piece of which, which in orange, like some of the other uh, sets also do, but... And of course, front sticker does say bulk on it, indicating that's for bulk. And also, XO4's hands on the sides with the orange Baraki eyes, obviously. And of course, enough room to fit your bulk main fig into. So now onto the back part of it, which has the orange Technic uh, beam pieces, which good to have for mocking, of course. And also on top is what gives it the name is this large drill piece or power miners drill piece, but uh, but now in orange, kind of interesting. And of course spins like so. And of course on both sides are about four uh, flick fire missiles, so has good amount of. Uh, Firepower, of course, but yeah. Also, forgot to mention on this front part, which is lightsaber rod pieces, probably sticking out in trans yellow. Not sure why stick out, probably has lights for it, even though there's some lights up on front, of course, but probably extra lights, but whatever. And also, to say is this drill bit can be adjusted in two different ways, and of course, can flip down and got some extra drill bits. So of course. And also just like what two other mech sets also do is fully detachable of course. And we'll also show how they all do, which I'll go over in a while in a bit, but yeah. And that is it with both drill machine. And now to the largest mech, which is 
Surgeon Rock Combat Machine. So, for this one in which. Probably the most epic, hectic, of course. Since it has probably more pieces than the rest of which, and also fits two uh, hero sets in it, of course. But yeah. So, and so now for both sets of legs, which have about four joints in both, since it has a double jointed knee bit, of course. And so the back feet, which are the smaller beast feet for this wave and the front feet are the feet from Stormer XL from uh, Breakout of course and also the Stormer Freeze Machine in wave one of this one but yeah and also uh, a few size 5 armor bits in blue same with the front legs which have stuck around since uh, Surge 2.0 in 2011 of course but yeah and also as for the main uh, body part of it is that's actually comprised of two uh, armor or regular body pieces put together kind of similar to that of Stormer XLs but in a couple other sets but yeah and also like Stormer XL one of those uh, double pieces joint pieces there which are quite rare for these but at least good to see it here of course but yeah as for this front area which does have a blue version or blue printed version of one of those size 5 armor bits with the hero factory symbol on it but good to see here but yeah and as for the front cockpit parts is one that says Raka on it yeah Raka there indicating for Raka just like what Raka stealth machine also had and also one for surge of course but yeah that one side which has the flip fire missiles with uh, which but with red or trans green cone pieces instead of trans yellow which a couple other sets of which had so good to see some variety there and also the common meteor launcher that uh, some other that we have been seeing a lot since breakout of course okay there And of course, and also, as the box shows is, and the instructions also is, if you were to put your heroes into it, you can just take their stud launchers and place them on these armor bits on the sides, of course. And then, of course, fit both of your things into a course. And so now for this top bit of which I can take off also like the others and as he comprised of mostly some technic pieces and also for that and also and of course can fit your Raka e fig into a course and also have some blue uh, technic panels on there and also for the main feature is click this in and have pair of wings on it to fly around of course but although what I kind of don't get is why the wings are positioned in this way when they could have been like in the other way of course like most sets that have these wing pieces do of course but although you can add that on if you wanted but yeah and also do get another one of those pieces on there just acting as an engine same with those two of course Although, since if this is a vehicle for Raka, uh, which I think maybe these panel pieces in gold or a sticker with some gold on it co also could have worked out, but maybe that's me, but yeah. And also, since of course this did attack, detach from the top of the witch, since also, as most of the manuals show, is it can get some of the other sets, like this one for Freeze Flea Machine, attached onto as well. Or also with bulk drill machines from earlier attach on as well. So of course, good to see how you can 
add different bits of sets to this, uh, obviously. Although it would be nice if there was like that for like all of the hero sets, but or maybe that'd be too much, but yeah. So now, on to the final verdict. So overall, these I think are quite cool sets for, of how they work. So like of course you get like a full set that is for bulk, which we haven't seen since like Brain Attack Wave 1, of course, and also do get a 2-in-1 set, of course, and also good to see uh, heroes that were introduced at different times uh, included in one set. So which was interesting, quite neat and all for this, but, and of course, for, and also good to have a, the blue cocoon piece, but in a smallish, cheaper set, of course, but yeah. And of course, both of which do provide plenty of foot fire missiles, well, although ended up later defunct in later times, but yeah. And so now if y'all, if any of you still have these, these sets from back in the day, well, I hope you had some good memories of them. And for those of you who haven't and still have access to these sets, I'd say definitely pick them up. eBay, Bricklink, whatever. And that is it with this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.